Well, she's created artwork for Apple, Facebook, Sephora, and Foodland. Now, an artist from Kailua is working on her first two books with major publisher Harper Collins. Kamaka Pili introduces us to her. It is amazing to see how Hawaii continues to influence the world in many different realms. Come this summer, it's all about children's books. This new book called Punky Aloha from a Kailua resident whose name is Shar Tuisoa is dropping this book and it's her first children's book after a career in art and illustration. To find out more about this, we are here with Shar. Thank you very much for your time. Tell us a little bit about what this book is about. So, Punky Aloha is really based on my life um, growing up on Oahu. Uh, just a little Polynesian girl kind of navigating her way into the world. She's painfully shy, but she's very adventurous, and her grandma is sending her out on her own, and she's reminding her to use her aloha to not only meet new people, but um, also to remember to help your community. Using aloha, kind of like a life lesson, that's being taken up by HarperCollins, one of the That's big right. five English publishers in the world. Yeah. How did you land this deal? You know, I'm just so fortunate. Um, the editor that contacted me actually stumbled across my artwork just through Instagram and emailed me and she said, hey, I love your artwork. I would love to know if you're interested in working with us to write and illustrate a children's book. Um, and it, that's pretty much how it happened. <laughs> I think it's amazing to see that you don't have to leave Hawaii to influence the world. How Absolutely. has this journey been for you? It's been incredible. And I think just to pick up on what you're saying, you don't have to leave home to work with the big companies. They know that the talent is here. And it's been just really incredible to be able to uh, grow with my community here as well as work with bigger um, companies on the mainland. The name, Punky Aloha, yes. what's the story behind that? What does that mean? Um, I think it, there's nothing too crazy about the story of how we came about. It's just kind of my style of art, I think, is kind of punky, right? It's, it's bright and it's fun. My aesthetic is really bold and colorful. And Aloha is really just how I live my life. That is the ethos of my life. June 7th, that's the day we're, we're looking forward to. But where can people find this? Will this be in local stores? Um, yeah, absolutely. I would love it for you to go to your local bookstore and ask them if they're going to be carrying it and then go and support them. What are you doing, though, on June 7th? Where can people find you? Um, I'm going to be doing a book signing at the shop in Kaimuki. Awesome. Thank you again, Shar. Congratulations. Thank you. Right on. Again, June 7th, that's the day for you to get yours in copy. You can meet Shar herself. Again, June 7th, make sure you take note of that. For all the information about her, her work, all her freelance work, and the things that's available through her, make sure to visit our website, khun2.com. She has amazing work, I think so. <laughs> Kamakapiti with KHUN2 News, working for Hawaii.